Well, hello there. Did you know that you can request a private video from me made just for you that you can keep forever and ever? Yep, that's right. I can wish you or a loved one a happy birthday or even give you a pep talk. I'm in Kuwait, so if you want a cameo at a specific location like a nice beach or a mall, just let me know. Get yours today and don't delay. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm making beefy rice. So I'm going to start by soaking some long grain back. Hi everybody, I'm back again. I don't know how many of these I'm going to do today. Um because I'm cleaning and cooking. That's usually what Sundays I do around here, around the house, Sunday dinner, um, cleaning and stuff. So I hope everybody is still having a great Sunday wherever you're at. Thanks for tuning in. Um, so she has a food upload or a cook with me, eat with me bullshit, um, trying to deflect once again off the vile behavior like anybody's going to forget. I don't think so. I don't know if I'm going to do maybe another reaction today um later because she has a community post that's laughable um trying to give excuses once again for the vile behavior which is not going to work like they say two wrongs don't make a right in any case let's get into this crap lol Maddie rice literally in some water for about a half an hour and then give it a good rinse before cooking it we got some burnt fried eggplant and we have some i i guess you cook at five thousand degrees chantal that eggplant was burnt which would make it taste bitter so no thank you beef sauce ew like yummy yum yum let's dish this up yella recipe in the comment section i'm i didn't go look i'm gonna go look but that i mean come on no thank you beefy rice I i'm not gonna eat anything with that title hello platter hello guys Welcome hello back guys to don't pay any attention to my vile behavior before i snapped back into another one of my characters of the many that i play here on youtube this one is the trad wife the trad muslim wife I, where i try to pretend that i cooked home-cooked meals and i cleaned the house and i'm just so pious so don't pay attention to the vile character just pay attention to this one another video that's how that goes i'm your host foodie beauty <laughs> so this is uh, beefy rice and um fried eggplant got some chili sauce and once again like i said i take that like if i cook and anybody puts hot sauce on my food i take offense to that because when somebody does that that means that they're covering up the original flavor profile of the food so obviously chantal does not like her cooking because she's covering it in hot sauce yes indeed i do some cold water and arabic water is mine <laughs> in case of anyone wanting to know and i fry them in big slices and it's hard to there we go and in Arabic, eggplant is bitter gin. <laughs> I'm probably not saying that right. Okay, let's have a bite for you. And you are a gin in Arabic. LOL. Beauty bite. Bismillah. Or shaitan, I should say. Mm -mm. Very, very nice. More hot sauce? Wow. So... How I made this is basically nobody cares really honestly um now i i watched this already because i had nothing else to do so i was just watching it lol notice her eyes i don't know what it is about her eyeballs i'm gonna zoom in so you can get a closer look she does this weird rolling of her eyeballs like at the beginning of this it's almost lizard like it's almost reptilian like and if any of you are into the reptilian uh conspiracy theory i don't know that's what she reminds me of or possibly a shark on a feeding frenzy when they roll their eyes back in the back of their head i don't know there's just something weird going on with her eyeballs one package of do you see she rolls them beef. she keeps rolling them onion. weird sauteed the onion till it was like cooked very well do you see? Like, a, like feeding frenzy Almost shark. caramelized, but not quite. Reptilian almost. And then... I um, she keeps doing added it. some tomato paste, 
curry powder, paprika, cumin, coriander. And yes, if anybody says I'm being petty, I am being petty. Her eyeballs are like irritating me. Um, chicken, uh, beef broth. She'll do it again. So I sauteed some fresh Watch. garlic with the onion, beef, and tomato paste. And, um, what else did I put? You know, Chantal, you look so much up at the ceiling when you are um, spewing your fairy tales. You should put some posters probably up there so you have something to look at. A little bit of soy sauce. So good. That looks disgusting. No, thank you. Look at she did it again with her eyes. Look again with her eyes. Again with her eyes. She keeps look again. And that's all she Again, wrote. she keeps rolling her eyes in that weird reptilian way. Chantal, is this an excuse for the vile behavior? Have you been infiltrated by a reptilian? I wonder. That is not that I'm sitting on her chair. She pretty much claimed this gaming chair. <sighs> reptilian shapeshifter. <gasps> it's not Chantal. It's a reptilian shapeshifter. They've taken over her. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just playing. And if you don't know, I'm like, I'm really into science fiction and a lot of conspiracy theories. Um, not that I believe a lot of them, but I just, I find it fascinating. So that's why I'm mentioning the reptilian. More hot sauce because it just like disappears <laughs> in the rice. Oh my God. So. Okay. Sodiums. I wanted to put chickpeas in it as well. For some added fiber, but added look rolling the eyes again. The type of chickpea cans I bought don't have like you have to open it with a can opener and our can opener. Why don't you buy like dried chickpeas and just boil them yourself? That would like make more sense considering uh you like to eat hummus and things like that. It doesn't make sense to buy the canned crap that's full of sodium. But then again, you're Chantal, that's all you eat is sodium. So bad. I really have to get one. How don't you have a can opener? I have like, mul I have multiple can openers because I don't know why I buy a lot of them. Because like some work better on certain cans than others, but I don't like electric can openers. I never have. Um, yeah, in case like the apocalypse comes, lol, I want to be able to open my can goods. And if the electricity's out because the grid got affected, affected you're not going to be able to use the electric can opener <laughs> so it's the truth so nothing very good i like the extra wing ground beef because you don't have to drain it uh, even would you i don't think you would you would probably so you would probably leave the fat in and say oh it's extra flavor the piece for the GoPro that we needed so that we can use it because because we're both going to be in the vlogs we have to use our external mics just to make sure the sound is loud enough and clear so we needed a special accessory for it for external mics and we finally found one they're professionals they're professionals and they get their shit off of Timu good job so and it's winter now. It's actually so cold. What is? I wonder what the temp is there. What is it? It's eighty. It's like eighty degrees here in Southern California. What? It, yesterday we um, we there was a thing going on in Little Tokyo in downtown Los Angeles that we went to. Um, it was about eighty three degrees. It was kind of warm. We had costumes on it and stuff. It was fun though. I don't know what the temperature is today, but yesterday was like seventeen degrees Celsius. Like, that's such a huge contrast to the 50 degree weather in the summer here. That's how it is in California. It's not like unbelievable. Like, Kuwait essentially has two seasons, if I'm not mistaken. Not really. We don't. Summer, we have winter. we have one season here. I mean, although I think it's going to be rainy um, this year in Southern California, from what I looked at, I looked at like the farmer's almanac, like they predict 
like the weather and I follow some weather channels. Um, I think it's going to be cooler and rainier here, which is not good because near where I live, um, there's an area called the Portuguese Bend, the Rancho Palos Verdes area. There's like a slow moving landslide and there's a road over there that kind of connects. Um, let's just say the harbor area, I guess, to Redondo Beach area. Like there's a road over there and it's like falling into the ocean. And I I'm, I'm honestly believe that if we get a lot of rains this year that road is going to completely slide into the ocean as well as um some of the homes over there and there's a historic home actually over there um vanderlip home that's um he was actually one of the f um one of the famous people that live in the south bay but yeah i don't know the weather here in southern california is usually um hot in the summertime but it's usually i mean 70s like we rare we rarely get cold out here it's it's weird and the winter is not cold. There's no snow. I love but the snow. It's awesome. Sometimes it can go down to like 10 degrees Celsius at night. Well, the desert does get cold. But right now, the weather's perfect. Camping season is opening up. Yeah, out here in the desert, it does get cold. It does sometimes get... Um, like to freezing level so yeah it does get cold out here in southern california in the desert areas not near where i'm at because i'm by the beach it doesn't get that cold i i remember i think um i was in high school i can't remember what uh grade i was in we actually did get snow flurries here in southern like the south bay near the beach area um but yeah i mean it's it rarely gets that cold So go follow our couples channel if you'd like to see our couples vlogs. Because you do planning, do plan on finally getting around. To no season. thanks. I guess it'll be season three, four. No season. season three didn't really happen, so maybe we can just call it season three. <sighs> so I mean, if season three actually didn't happen, what makes you think that uh, season three, part two, I guess, is gonna happen, Chantal? Because you never follow through with anything. You never um, accomplish anything, which is sad at 40 years old that I, I just don't know. It's sad, especially in front of thousands of people. You say you're going to do something and then you don't. Embarrassing. Hopefully the GoPro is good quality. But yeah, there's more things to do in the winter because, you know, it's just too hot in the summer for people to do anything. People do stuff out here and it's in the hundreds. And there's no camping in, in fact, the because... <laughs> Uh, Southern California has the hottest place on earth. Um, I believe the temperature was 136 in Death Valley. When it does get to those temperatures out here, people travel specifically out here to Death Valley to feel the hot temperatures. So a lot of people do do things in the hot temperature, Chantal. Out here in California, they do. I'd like to go back to Filica Island. Oh, Remember that island we went to? No, why? Where we took a ferry and we had to walk on that floating dock thing that, like, oh, made me nauseous. Oh. But this time, we're either going to rent a car there or get on a ferry with our car. For what? To show us nothing? What did you show us the last time? You showed us... Um... I don't know if it was an abandoned boat port. There was like all these rotting boats or something or a scrapyard. Um, you showed us abandoned schools that were used as uh, testing areas for like military equipment, I believe. Um, yeah, no, don't visit that island again. I don't think anybody's interested unless you actually go to that island and show us like uh, if you follow the history of that island the greek culture that is a part of that island because greece um did conquer that area um during a certain history time period so if you go into that stuff as far to as far as the greek influence on that island that would be interesting but i don't think you will because the island is like big enough that you can't really like walk the whole thing it would take forever i don't, know if, I don't even know if you can but and there's all kinds of like ruins 
from the times of the um okay like i said that's greek ruins if you could tell those columns that's from because like i said greece conquered that area or at least were in that area for a certain time period so that's why a lot of the food um and um buildings and things like that will have greek influence in that particular part of the world iraqi invasion that's not that was not ruins from the iraqi invasion chantal hello open up um, some history books, please. So, I really want to check that out, you know? What? You did it the last time. Nobody cares. Why don't you go into how the United States um, led a coalition that freed Kuwait? Why don't you talk about that? Or you won't. We did see some of the ruins, and it was, like, just so quiet and sad. Knowing that, you know, how the buildings were destroyed... How were they destroyed, Chantal? But they were used as testing grounds. It's interesting to go see and learn about it. And winter's the perfect time to go. I'd really like to go back there. And actually, has anybody um, played the new Call of Duty? I know. I don't know if Salah will play that because he's glitter tits. Uh, but my son has been playing it, and it's um, when they invaded, when uh, Iraq invaded Kuwait and the United States freed them with the coalition. That's what the new Call of Duty is, and it includes like he showed me the beginning. Bill Clinton, there's like banners of Bill Clinton in it. Saddam Hussein is in it. So like I don't know if like people because I had a lot of friends because I graduated high school, 1991. So right when that all that happened, a lot of my friends. Um, ended up fighting in that war so I'm wondering like if that will cause PTSD for them but then some of them might enjoy playing it um, because it'll you know give them memories of being over there with the oil fields on fire and everything I mean it's a pretty good looking game really good graphics on it um, but I can't wait to see when Grand Theft Auto the new one comes out that's gonna be the game in this house I can guarantee it dish like this beefy rice called like dirty rice or something yes i'm not south. sure if it's like a spanish or mexican recipe southern that's the one that i know like from uh, i i learned that recipe from my uh father-in-law because he was from uh louisiana the dirty rice from there with some andouille sausage in it yum he was creole i don't know but I've really been preferring just eating homemade simple meals like this. Then why did you have fast food the other day? Instead of the fast food That's I the normally bullshit. would order. Like, oh. You just ordered fast food in your vile rage video, Chantal. So what are you talking about? Sure. This one's a day before. Um. Filthy fingers. There are times that I overeat. Times? Excuse me. Excuse me. What do you mean there are times that you overeat? You just overate right now. That was like three pounds of rice and like three pieces of eggplant. What, what are you talking about? Get out of here. But I'd have to say, at least I didn't have fast food. That's one goal. It I've doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. matter if you have fast food or home cooked food. If you're cooking crap and you overeat it, it's just the same as eating fast food, Chantal. It doesn't make a difference. You can still make unhealthy food at home. What you just ate, considering you're diabetic, very unhealthy, all that rice. It's going to, carbs turn into sugar in your body. So way to go on spiking your blood sugar once again. Accomplished was to, you know, stop eating fast food. Maybe not forever, I don't know. But permanently, I would like to um, have it only like very once in a while as a treat. Not That's as a what we do. Part of my diet. Yeah, so I exactly. wanted to like, make that switch. That's like how normal people eat. I, I believe most people 
don't eat fast food as a normal like everyday meal or even multiple times a week meal if anything maybe once or twice at the most if they're like busy um but most people i believe it's one time a week as a treat chantal so wow okay good for you but i'm finding that i'm not even wanting it if we order out i'm craving more you know we're going through this again food. Dishes and stuff like that. She's full of crap. How many times have we heard this? And then in a few days, we're going to see Taco Bell sitting on the table. Get out, Chantal. Because I find those dishes, they just keep me satiated longer and they oh, don't make satiated. me feel just like crap after. You know, if I eat like a huge greasy burger and fries from like Burger King or something. Speaking of greasy food, you know what we had yesterday? And everybody in LA will probably know what I'm talking about. We had Pioneer Chicken. That's like an old school chicken place that used to be all over um, Los Angeles. I don't think there's too many of them um, around. I believe, I remember back in the day when I was a kid, I think OJ Simpson used to do the commercials for Pioneer Chicken. I remember that, I think. Um, yeah, it was. if you guys remember that place, there's there was one in uh, Southgate we decided to go to. And what did I have? I had the fish and chips because I was craving fish. But um, my kids got the chicken and we had neighbors. Um, some neighbors went along with us um, on our little adventure to Little Tokyo. Um, so we had like chicken, fish, and then we ordered gizzards as well. Um, yeah, I am a fan of fried gizzards. I like that type of food. But it was it was greasy. It was good. We don't eat like that a lot, but it was a good treat for us um, on our little adventure. Um if you guys ever can, check it out. It's Pioneer Chicken in Southgate. If you want some greasy fried, like, fish and chips, chicken, it's it's really good. I really don't feel well after. I feel so tired and ill, you know. And you don't feel, like, satisfied because it's not a very nutritious meal. That's um, one thing I can say that I've been so far successful at is not ordering fast food. Um, I used to order, like, Burger King all the time. What do you mean used to? Excuse me, you probably ordered it uh, after this meal. Shut up. And just, yeah. <laughs> There's probably bags under the table as we speak. Like, these fast food places, these, you know, were part of my regular diet. And were, okay. Now they're mm -hmm. not. Sure, lies. You know? But like I said, we do still order. Um, and I do still, I've had moments, like I've said in my previous pain video, where I've pretty much just, like, been overeating. <laughs> so... She just... I've been overeating, but literally just overate right now. Okay. The fact that she doesn't consider eating on a plate that's literally a platter filled to the brim as overeating, like, hello, Chantal. But it's, it's <laughs> tough. It's really tough sometimes, especially at the, night. I mean, literally, you can look at the plate. It's the size of the, the width of her shoulders. That's not overeating. Um, <laughs> Insanity. So but yeah so that is my meal um my dinner so i thank you for eating with me i hope you had something good to eat and i will post the recipe uh, i don't give a shit and i'm not following that recipe anyways yeah she's like trying to uh, i don't know what she's trying to do she's insane but i also believe that all of this rage and going after ffg and causing this whole other contra uh, controversy is a deflection of the Aisha situation because Aisha probably actually has some shit on her and she's trying to stop that entire story from coming out. So yeah, don't fall for this, uh, these shenanigans that Chantal does because she has a habit of doing this, trying to uh, make everybody go down the other path and lose, um, lose the other story, if you will. Um, but no, I, I remember everything. And I put everything in the archives as well. But anyways, that's it for me for this one now. I might do another one. I don't know. I'm cooking right now. I'm making pot roast, some carrots, and probably some whipped mashed potatoes for dinner today. So that's cooking. Still have some cleaning to do. So I don't know if I'm going to have um, time to do another video possibly i don't know we'll see but i hope you guys have the great uh, great rest of your day stay safe and i'll see you when i see you bye